Hi, it's Mrs. Ratcliffe here, and today we're going to be looking at multiples and factors. Um, this is a concept that it's really important to try and nail in your mind, if you can, because it's going to help you so much when you're studying fractions, if you can get your head around it now. Okay, so multiples. Sorry, we're going to be um, defining a couple of new terms for these concepts, so it's important to sort of note there's a few words you may or may not have heard before. The first one is multiples. Multiples are made just by counting by a number or by multiplying by that number. For example, multiples of 3, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 21, etc., etc. Those are all multiples of 3. Okay, it's a very um, good word to know. All right, and just on a side note, the stuff we're going to be looking at today is involving whole numbers. So when you hear the term whole numbers, we're talking about positive numbers as opposed to negative numbers. So positive numbers greater than zero that aren't fractions or decimals. So as the word whole would imply, one, two, three, four, upward. Okay, that's a whole number. Okay, let's look at factors. A factor is a number that divides evenly into another number, so with no remainder, okay? So for example, if we look at 12, we've got obviously one and 12, but also two, six, three, and four. They are all factors of 12 because all of those numbers can divide evenly into 12, okay? It's important when you're doing an investigation to really look and make sure that you're finding all the factors. So that's what one of the things we're really going to be practicing um, in this study is to go through and be a detective and really try and find all the factors when you're looking at a number. Okay, divisibility is another word that you're going to hear in this chapter. It means a very similar thing to a factor. It just means that something is divisible by another number. Divisible sounds like divide because that's what we're talking about. You can divide another number by that number evenly. So for example, 125, 500, 10, and 35 are all divisible by the number 5. Okay, that's divisible. All right, so now we're going to talk about a term called common multiples and lowest common multiples. Common, when you hear the word common, it's talking about comparing two numbers. So we're looking at two numbers that we're comparing together and trying to find a common one, so one that's the same, okay? So with common multiples, a common multiple is, is something where when you have two numbers together, the number divides evenly into both of them, okay? So, a common multiple of 2 and 6 is 36, okay, because the multiple can be, the multiple can be divided evenly by 2 and evenly by 6, so that's 36. So, the lowest common multiple is the sm smallest number that can be divided into evenly by both numbers. So, we've got 2 and 6 here. They can both go into 36, can't they? that the lowest common multiple is going to be 12, okay? Sometimes the, the easiest way to find the lowest common multiple is to multiply them together, but not always. So I'll show you a couple of examples with that. All right, now common factors. A common factor is a number that divides evenly into two numbers. So for example, we've got 14 and 28. They can both be divided by seven, right? But the highest common factor is the largest number that's divided evenly into both of those numbers. So if you look at 14 and 28 again, there's even a bigger number that they can both be divided by, and that number is 14. Okay, so how do we actually put this into practice? Let me show you. Find the lowest common multiple of 2 and 5. So what you really want to do is start listing the multiples of each number. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. OK, 
Okay, so I've got uh, several multiples of 2 there. Let's find our multiples of 5. 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay, so let's circle some of the numbers that are in common. They both have 20, but they also both have 10. The first number um, that is on both of the lists is going to be your lowest common multiple. Okay? Let's do the same with our factors, our highest common factors. This says find the highest common factor for 10 and 15. Okay, so first you're going to list all the factors of each number. Number of our factor is number that goes into it. So 10 has the factors 1 and 10, 2 and 5. 15 has the factors of 1, 15, 3 and 5. Okay, so if we look here, there's only one number that's on both lists, isn't there? Okay. The largest number on both lists is the highest common factor. Okay, so in this instance, our highest common factor is 5. I hope that this has helped you to understand a little bit about multiples and factors and trying to find the HCF and the LCM um, because we're going to be doing a bit of this work. I might um, spend a little more time on a video explaining factor trees because it's a really good way to try and find all the factors for a number. Um, but in the meantime, get some practice at finding LCMs and HCFs and good luck.